the only purpose for us to be saved is for us to save others. See, we get it lost. We think it's about us. This is for the people that have lost hope. My name is John Proctor, and I'm the chairman of the RBCA parent company, which is a membership-driven construction organization. But attached to that, we got a program called Second Chance CDC. That project is to hire people that need this second, third, or fourth chance. And they can tell you today, I got a business, I got my family back, I got a job, and I'm changing my way of life. And I say, yeah, it'll take you a lifetime to change your way of life. You just have to do it every day. It ain't easy, but you can. So what we put around them people is people that have done it before. And that makes sense to me. Our primary purpose is to offer employment opportunities to returning citizens, whether it be from incarceration, substance abuse, or just simply being out of the workforce. The way that we do that is we offer a five-week workforce training program that offers the participants the ability to be OSHA 30 certified as well as NCCER certified. And so in that five weeks, not only do they become certified, they've gained another support system. And, and when I'm at graduation and I see people get up one by one and you'll hear the families clap and, and then you'll hear silence. And then when it's that time, you hear all the RBCA staff cheer for these people because we just became their family. You know, the paperwork might be done in six months, but the relationships that have been built are not done in six months. They're a lifetime. And as long as they try, we try. And even whenever life gets hard and they want to give up, we continue to invest in them because we know that to not give up on someone can mean all of the difference. The first thing is to identify and eradicate any barriers that will stop them from being successful in our program. And the immediate needs is what I take care of first. Housing, food, and shelter. We now have the Lockridge Apartments. Our students are able to transition into safe, affordable housing. We wanna be supported even after they leave our program. It makes an impact. And I always say the corner of Lancaster and 52nd Street, the Joseph E. Lockwood Apartments is the safest block in Oak Cliff at this time. I am a volunteer worker for the RBCA at the Joseph Lockwood Apartment. And my job is to go to the apartment and to kind of provide like a counseling mentorship service to those who are coming out uh, with different barriers or those who are coming out of the system or those who have fallen on hard times and need another opportunity at life. Because me, myself, uh, I've come from the same situation. I've had the same barriers. I've had the same struggles. And so I am at Joseph Lockridge to provide inspiration. My mantra is, but for the grace of God, there go I. And I don't know anyone who has been the advocate for that more than the Regional Black Contractors Association. Frederick Douglass says, it is much easier to raise young children than it is to repair broken men. RBCA is about repairing broken men and women. So my hat's off to RBCA. I'm the president of uh, Steck Omega Group. Uh, we're a construction company based uh, in Dallas. We have really enjoyed working with RBCA on their Second Chance program and employing students that they have come from their program uh, because they are they are very dedicated. You now we're helping uh, these folks to get back uh, into the community and support their families and uh, and just grow. It's a positive thing. They are very productive. They are hard workers. You know, and, and we need people. They don't see why somebody's going to say no. I'm the president and the CEO of Eastern Little Enterprises. I've been working with the RBCA Seven Chance Program in Dallas College since 2017. What I like about the program is that it's giving people an opportunity to start their life over after some mistakes. 
they've been great. They show up for work, ready to work. And the contractor that we're currently working for likes their work. A lot of times, you know, they get looked over because of their past history. We all have a past. But however, I tell them all the time, I don't care where you've been, I care where you're going. So it's been great for my company uh, to continue to hire and pursue the students of the OBCA in Dallas College. You can't help everyone, but if you could touch one, you could touch three, you touch five, then you did something. From the world of corporate, what I know from a position of leadership is if you take someone that is hopeless and make them hopeful and let them take that hope and transform their life one day at a time, what you end up with is a loyal employee that will walk through fire for you. And again, I would repeat, the greatest aspiration of the human heart is to help another human being. So we got housing, we got jobs. We didn't had up to 84 people working on one job. That was the county records building. Those people worked out for two years. So what that means to me is that they learn the skill, and now they out there on their own, full responsible. So this year, someone that graduated from this program, they were placed with one of our newest employee partners, ProLift Rigging. They have a small company, and there's only 72 people there, but if they're willing to make the 73rd person a second chance person, if I could just meet more companies like that, and they're out there, and I know that I can, we just have to find them. I watch these graduates have children that show up at graduation and they're in the audience and they're so proud of their moms and their dads. And in that moment, seeing that, knowing that that child's future just changed. Because the moment that a child knows that their mom or dad can do something different, they believe they can do something different. So that's why this training program is the gift that keeps on giving. When we say that we're changing communities, that's what we're talking about. And it's never too late to see your parent do something different and then instill in you, you can do something different too. And I know from experience as that child and now as that parent that did something different, that matters. And I know from experience how important that is. It's always a hard job for us, but we keep getting up every day doing what we must do. Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain, we all have sorrow, but if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me. Oh